Hey guys, this is the new and improved Into the Smoke off-season episode 1. We're going to be talking about driver changes, rumors about, um, th- thoughts to believe about Haley Deegan, um, Charlotte, um, the city of Charlotte, North Carolina, and more. So, sit back and relax. The show starts now. You're listening to Into the Smoke, hosted by Patrick Harmon. Hey guys, how's it going? We are doing a few driver changes, as well as talking about Haley Deegan and others, like I said. AJ Allmendinger will be moving from full-time racing to the 16 of college racing. Kyle Busch will move to the RCR and be in their eight bo- number 8 bow tie. Ty Gibbs will be under the new number 54 at Joe Gibbs Racing, not the 18 of eight Kyle Busch. The 18 of Kyle Busch is going to be never again. Could be like the number three that came back later a couple years ago. Never know. Kurt Busch is leaving. Oh. I was trying to read my notes, but Ty Ty get done is go, got a full time ride at set, set, uh, the, with the 77 Aspire Motorsports. Um, Kurt Busch is leaving full time racing, and the 45 is going to be replaced by Tyler Reddick. And um, some big news with Stuart Haas, I just I just found out a few seconds ago that this is a true. True rumor, it's not no rumor anymore, that Ryan Priest will replace Cole Custer in the 41, and Cole Custer is to believe, believed to be going back to the Cups Xfinity Series full time. Not a big deal in some aspects, but if you ask me, that's a pretty big deal to me because... Like, why did why why is he leaving? Like, why is he going back down? They're gonna have to open up another car, so they I think they own the the double zero, so that'll probably work for right now. But um, that that's one of the big things I was gonna I I, I had thought about and found rumored to be true. Um, Josh Balicki's gonna be. Got a part-time ride with Go Live, Live Fast, I believe. Was, I I've never heard of them really. Um, the 78, which the 78 was originally owned by, um, what is it? Uh, Furniture Row Racing. The 78 was um used with um a few different drivers, but I guess Live Fast bought it out. Jimmy Johnson will ride a partial third car for Petty GMS. Numbers are still not matching up right, but he might be taking the 88. There's plenty of rumors going around about that. They're like, oh, he's going to take the 88 back and, but, or take the 88. He never raced the 88, but the 88 is up in the air. He might, because it's important to him, like, it was a Hendrick Motorsports number. Um, but let's get to rumors about Haley Deegan. Once her, um, I think it was, uh, I forget the old, um, company she was racing for, but once they went Toyota, she has a contract with Ford. And the only way to get out of that contract is to buy it out, probably. I've never, I'm not in the technicalities of contracts and stuff. But she's in a contract with Ford, so she she had to find a Ford company. Well, it's rumors are going around that she's going to race for Thor Motorsports next year, which that is an Xfinity team. No, it's going to be a truck team. Um, let's check that out real quick. Thor Motors. Let's 
So as of right now, her number, is, she's not linked up with them. Um, the drivers they have right now is Johnny Sauter, Ty Majeski, Matt Crafton, Ben Rhodes, and Kristen Eeks. And, um, yeah, they really don't know if, if, uh, rumors you going around that she's going to go to Thor, maybe, there was a rumor at one time that she was going to go to Stuart Haas, but then the big room, big rumor came about that Cole Custer was going to go to drop down in the Cup or Xfinity Series, which is, oh, sorry, you guys, bump my mic, but, um, that's a big deal going down from one series to another and um, losing a lot of money doing that too. But um, let's get some other news. Um, I haven't done too much research on this, but as far as I heard, Charlotte government government gave public dollars to help out, out tr tracks around the city, including including Charlotte Motor Speedway. And I think that's fine and all, but we need more tracks up north, including Indiana, where I live in. We need more tracks like in Indiana and the colder states where they can race in the colder months and then go back down to the south in the, one, um, in the winter. But they got it all screwed up, and they eventually... I don't know, like, they, they need to come back from, cut back a little bit on Charlotte, because technically Charlotte is, isn't the NASCAR head, headquarters, it's Daytona Beach, so, if they are going to go to Charlotte Motor Speedway, or if they are going to go give money, give money to other tracks that are, or open up the money to other com companies, but that is it, guys, we talked about a lot about our, our silly season, a lot of the, a lot of the pieces are falling together, they're just, but Haley Deegan could come about, could come about, not come about, let me know down in the comments below, whether you guys think Haley Deegan will take the ride for Thor Motorsports or I don't know. You guys tell me down in the comments down below. See if that tell me if that rumor is true. If it's not true, tell me it's not true. If it's tr and if it is true, that's going to be a big deal. Haley Deegan because she's needing another truck ride. She need she would really need a, a Xfinity or a Cup ride eventually in the next two or three years. But if I was her, I would sign a one year contract with the Truck Series and see where it goes to because there's eventually going to be a ride for her. Maybe not in the next six months but in about I'll say about this time next year we're gonna hear Haley Deegan in the Cup Series that's my prediction maybe again my predictions are always wrong but my prediction is that Haley Deegan this time next year will be talked about as going to a Cup Series team which wouldn't be that bad and with that note, I will be see I will see you guys later, and more off season reports will be linked up to this, and just keep your ears wide open for that. I'll be posting on social media, and and um trying to set up a website too pretty soon too, so I can um interact with people more and give people updates, because there's plenty of websites talking about silly season and all that, but they don't talk about 
actual driving teams and like I love to set up a website so I can show you guys what um what what the schedule is like what the off season schedule is like cuz the chili bowl is coming up and that'd be a really fun thing to watch and if if it's on TV I'm definitely watching it so anyway guys I will be seeing you guys in about I'll call it next week and till then stay out of the smoke